All right, I have a shocking admission to make. I have never been to Field Days. Field Days at Mystery Creek. I must have done, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 interviews on Field Days at Mystery Creek over many years as a journalist. I have never been to a Field Days at Mystery Creek, but it is quite the thing, and it is on right now. And because it's important, and I know a lot of you have been to Field Days and are interested in Field Days, I thought we should talk to Peter Nation. He's the Field Days Society's CEO, and he joins us on the line now. Peter, welcome to the platform. Nice uh, to have you with us, and thanks for taking some time out. You must be busy right now. Yeah, morning, Sean. Thanks very much for the opportunity. I'm... I'm um I don't know what to say to you, mate. You've never been before. It's like oh, a new and I was thinking what we should do next year if if the platform's still running. Oh, God, <laughs> we're going to be having an election. We'd set up an OB, we'd go to Hamilton and we'd do the show out of field days. That'd be a hell of a yeah, lot of fun. Um, yeah, no, get a hold of our media team and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. But, hey, look, you can't be here, but let's at least talk about it because, yeah. as you say, a lot of your listeners... Uh, come and they enjoy it yeah um how long have field days been going uh this is our 54th year we started in 1969 so um yeah not as old as some of the events uh, a couple of other events in new zealand and some around the world but 54 years in business is still quite a long time right yeah all right so it is a business field days is a coming together of people in the agricultural primary production sector but essentially you're a business uh, yeah, so we own Mystery Creek Event Centre, which is 114 hectares of event platform. We own the event field days and then we host numerous other events here during the year, Sean. So we are in the events business, yes. And yeah. we oh, oh, let's get back. What happened there? Just saying. Oh, Peter's back there, is he? Okay. Oh, if he, Peter, if you were in the car and you were driving, you're a nutter. Oh, have we got him? Have we got him? Yep. Yep, we got him. Oh, no, Peter, we got, now are you in motion, Peter? No, 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 I'm sitting actually in our media room. And oh, okay, full, well, something just went... Bars, so something just went... Yeah. But up, anyway... So you've been Sorry going for 59 years. You are an events company. Um, how many... So what is the purpose of this event? If you were going to sum it up in a sentence for me, what is Field Days uh, all about? It's to advance agriculture through innovation, education and globalisation and to bring town and country together. There you go. Nice. Nice. You got that down, Pat. Bring town and country together. So... I always look at it and think, geez, if you wanted to buy a tractor, that's the place to go. If you wanted some new kit for the farm, that is the place to go. If you want to have a couple of bevies with some mates in the same business as you, that is the place to go. It also seems to me, from all the coverage I've ever seen, a rather social event. Yeah, so it's definitely a big part of connectedness here, Sean, where people meet family from one end of the New Zealand to the other. I've, I've got friends that do it. They arrange to meet here and catch up over lunch or or we have dinner here till 8 o'clock on the lounge as well, or just, um, you know, meet some agencies or trusted advisors or whatever. So there's a there's a very big connectedness piece here, getting off farm or out of out of town and coming and having a good time. And, you know, you, you mentioned buying a tractor, Sean, is in a normal year, because we're not in normal yet. We're still 5% down on our normal exhibitor levels, but we've still got 1,000 exhibitors here, so... It takes a hell of a lot of getting around. There's 47 hectares of event platform, so you've got to plan your day if you're only coming for the day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Peter, also, um, you know, you attract politicians like, you know, poo on a blanket, flies to poo on a blanket, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> they all oh, here uh, at the field days, here at the field days, here at the field days. Uh, it's just yeah, like we, a, we a are politician the central. We're the only event in New Zealand that has parliamentary recess for the week. Um, <laughs> because, well, they, they they get that you've got a really big cross demographic here and we've got a really big international presence. So from a from a diplomacy issue uh, or ability to interact with countries, you know, I've just been meeting with the ambassador for the EU. They're, they're exhibiting here. So we have 40-odd countries here 
um, exhibiting their wares and technology, but also looking for distribution and exporting opportunities. Plus, you've got this demographic demographic, sorry, of roughly 130,000 people. So you've got farmers, people from urban, you've got your biggest businesses from Pontera downwards exhibiting here. You've got their chairs, their CEOs. This thing is on steroids like a networking event you wouldn't believe. 